You are the target of those who would trample the liberties of free men. You are in the crosshairs of the bomb site. An enemy is centering on you. You are a citizen of the free world, a citizen of the United States of America. You may live in an industrial city, perhaps in a great port city with its burdened wharves, a farming area with fertile fields and grazing herds, a mining region rich with vital ores and minerals. You are the target. Our president has told us that even against the most powerful defense, an aggressor in possession of an effective number of atomic bombs could cause hideous damage. Today, in the age of hydrogen weapons, evacuation from target areas is our best assurance of survival. But successful evacuation takes time. If there is insufficient warning of attack, no time for organized evacuation according to plan, then you and your family must protect yourselves. Wherever you are, take cover. Whether in a private home, in an apartment, or your place of business, or in a motor vehicle, take cover. Motorists should park cars to the side of the highway. A clear lane must be kept open for emergency vehicles, fire apparatus, ambulances, engineering equipment. Now, let's look at your home. Protect it at all times. Don't permit fire hazards to collect. Unused paper and boxes, oily rags and waste, useless broken household goods, such inflammable debris is a fire threat at any time. Think of your home as divided into connected spaces, attic, bedrooms, living room, and so on, spaces in which your loved ones live. If you have an attic, this may be where your children play, snug and secure, but helpless, completely dependent upon you for their safety. The bedroom where an ill or handicapped member of your family may be. The living room where the aged or infirm, helpless as children, may look to you for aid. Plan and practice how to assist your family to a prepared shelter without loss of time. Plan and practice the turning off of all household appliances operated by gas or electricity. Simple insurance against some fires and explosions. If there is time, cover windows with blinds or draperies and close all outside doors, but don't lock them. Shut off the draft on coal or wood-burning furnaces and stoves. Hot coals or embers thrown about could set fire to your home. Ask your local utility companies for advice, then follow it, and tag the sources so that you can act automatically on the way to the shelter. If you have a basement, that is your best shelter, against the outside wall closest to the probable point of detonation. Any high explosive force collapses the structure at its weakest point and may form a natural safe area. It is just common sense to use this area to build a lean-to shelter. This type is inexpensive and easy to build. The basement box type shelter is stronger, larger, and more comfortable. Outdoors, you can build an earth-covered shelter which affords the best protection against blast, fire, radiation, and radioactive fallout. Detailed plans for these and other types are clearly described in the FCDA manual, Home Shelters for Family Protection. Your next step is to equip the shelter. Stock it with everyday materials with which you can face an emergency calmly. A battery radio, power may fail. Flashlights and spare batteries. First aid kit. A three-day supply of canned and packaged food, bottled water and other liquids a garden hose and indoor faucet adapter, or buckets of water and a stirrup pump, water purification tablets, blankets for your family. If you have this emergency shelf, enemy attack will not catch you unprepared. If attack does come, your practiced plan will pay off. Do not use your phone. It must be reserved for vital emergency messages. Clearly mark the radio dial setting at 640 and 1240. 
so that you can receive official news and civil defense instructions on the Conrad frequency used in your area. Your life may depend on this. Train to give prompt first aid to the injured in your family. Training that can serve you in any time of emergency. Train to fight small fires. Know how which may serve you well in any catastrophe. This is the plan to help you and others who need you. A plan to live, to work, and fight as did your forefathers. Now let's check the plan together step by step. Check. You practice fireproof housekeeping all the time. Check. You have some type of firefighting equipment to fight small fires. And you know how to use it. Check. You have canned and packaged food, canned milk, fruit juices, and water to last your family three days. Check. You know the Conrad radio alert may be the first warning of enemy attack. Prepare to take shelter and obey instructions instantly. Check. Your battery radio and your auto radio have the Conrad stations clearly marked at 640 and 1240. Check. You have a civil defense first aid disaster kit and at least one member of your family is trained in first aid. Check. Make sure your utilities are properly tagged for prompt emergency action. Check. Be ready to turn off all gas and electric appliances quickly where advised by local utilities. Check. Cover windows and close outside doors as you take shelter. Check. If you are directed to take cover while driving, park in the first clear space so as not to block emergency traffic. Check. You have an emergency plan to get to shelter quickly and safely wherever you are. Check. You have taken training courses and read training pamphlets to prepare in advance against enemy attack. Check. You will not touch your telephone after attack. It must be reserved for critical emergency calls. Check. Study and practice your family action civil defense plan now. The plan for prompt action in the face of any disaster. Tornadoes and hurricanes. Fires. Floods or enemy attack. You will be prepared. You will know what to do instantly to help ensure the survival of you, your family, your country.